السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today's hadith is from Jabir رضي الله عنه He narrates, he says that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said مثل الصلوات الخمس كمثل نهر جار غمر على باب أحدكم يغتسل منه كل يوم خمس مرات Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is saying that the five prayers, the five faraid, they are like a flowing river outside, you know, you know, a very fast flowing, clean, pure river outside a person's house. And that person, he leaves his house and he goes and he bathes, he takes a shower or he rinses off in that flowing river five times. This is how the, this is the example of the five salawat that we pray in the day. Now imagine if someone takes a shower five times a day, are they going to be dirty? Is there going to be any dirt on them? Is there going to be, you know, any uh, impurities or you know, dust, anything, right? So similarly, these, sal- these salah we're praying, not only are they the, an obligation, but there's lots of benefits to it, along with the sins being wiped out and forgiven throughout the prayers, as long as the prayers are prayed in a proper manner, right? They're not prayed in a way where instead of being a, a means of forgiveness for us, they end up being, you know, whipped back at us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from those kind of salawat. But the, as long as they're prayed in a proper manner, with the, in the proper time, this is one of the benefits that the person is purified and is clean from all types of sins. As you know, the first ayah of the 21st Jews tells us, Utlu ma uhi ilayka min al kitabi wa aqim al salah, inna al salata tanha an al fahshai wal munkar. Not only does it purify and clean, it's also a barrier. Right? It's a barrier from, uh, from evil, from you know, vice from horrible actions. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us very clearly in the Qur'an, and uh, I'm sure we know the, the, the famous um, incident where someone came and complained to the Prophet Sallallahu that this person, so, so-and-so, he is, you know, he steals and he has this bad habit. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked him, is he, you know, praying his salah? Is he praying the salah? Right? And they said, yes, he prays the salah. He says, you know, eventually the, the, that sin will go away. And it comes in the narrations later on that this person, he ended up giving up that, um, that, that action that of stealing and whatever he was doing, he gave it up. But now the question is, and I'll end with this, how come we're praying and none of our things are going away? Right? How come our actions are not changing? This is where we need to look into our salah and see what is the deficiency. What are we missing that our life is not changing because of the salah? The Quran says that the salah will be a barrier. How come it's not a barrier for us? That's, that's an individual case where we have to look into our salah and see what is the condition of my prayer? How come it's not being a barrier? That's a question me and you have to ask ourselves. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to understand the importance of the salah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our salah such that they are a barrier for sin and evil and a protection for us until the day of Qiyamah. Ameen wa akhru da'wan alhamdulillahi rabbil alam. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك اللهم انت السلام وانك السلام وتباركت على الجلال والاكرام اللهم لا مانع لما اعطيت ولا معطي لما منعت ولا ينفع ذو الجد منك الجد اللهم انا نسالك رضاك والجنه ونعوذ بك من سخطك وغضبك والنار اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين